So it's by biologists, but for engineers to use. Well, engineers, mathematicians, chemists, mm -hmm. uh, material scientists. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of different disciplines we bring in for the second workshop. And uh, we're reaching out to some of the best and brightest in the world. We're finding mathematical algorithms that affect supply chains. Mm -hmm. We're finding materials that create maybe new packaging. We're seeing systems that can speed up computers. Uh, so it, it's a wide range of people we bring in in that second workshop. Now, how are these findings being, um, are they being made available for the for public consumption, or what's happening with the findings? No, in, anything in technology transfer, uh, and part of the formula is you need to file patents around it mm -hmm. to be able to put money with it, to mm -hmm. be able to develop it mm -hmm. long enough to get your investments back. So, this so is we're teaching people how to do uh, effective technology transfer, uh, whereas if you just put the idea out in the, in the public, everybody can use it, nobody's going to put the money behind a lot of this. Right, such. right. So this is being done, as you said, in, in an incubation kind of a context, mm -hmm. in a uh, commercially protected uh, initially context, so that, that it, can, right. uh, it can uh, support itself and, and be successful. Exactly. And, and we can get capital and people behind it, and teams behind it. There's a number of these will bring in entrepreneurs as well as the scientists and engineers and others that need to convert it and then license it to a company that has the ability to put it in the market. Right. Now, do you have a, a relationship with the uh, Biomimicry Institute, Biomimicry 3.8, um, or is it primarily that um, they are, have inspired you as they have inspired many? We're working with a lot of organizations, including the 3.8 organization. Mm -hmm. It was Janine Benyus and I, many years ago, that started this conversation about really needing an incubator and a technology transfer part to that. Mm -hmm. She's focused really heavily in, in education and awareness and, and building those things up, not as much in the business side as we are. And so we work together on projects, as long with people here in San Francisco, New York. Uh, we're working with a group in Germany. Uh, the idea at the, at the zoo is to build this model in a way we can give it to everybody. And uh, that model doesn't really exist well today, and it's not something a zoo or a botanical garden or research really knows how to do. Right. So the more we can share this, the more people we can get doing it, there's millions of ideas in nature, the better we're all going to be. So uh, we're reaching out to anybody that would like help, support, and also connecting with them if they have ideas to help them get them developed. It's very exciting what you're doing.